right, bearings. Let's first start talk first start by talking about how to measure bearings. Okay. So we're going to uh, at least in this part of the text, we're going to measure from north or south. Okay. So we've got this little compassy looking thing right here. All right, so this is north. Let's go and label this. This is our north. This is our south. This is our east. This is our west. Um, my daughter, my middle daughter, had an acronym for measuring or for remembering these: uh, north, east. So her acronym was never eat shredded wheat, and that she remembered that was north, east, south. West. However you do it, that's fine by you. <laughs> but that was just a cute little acronym, and I remember she had that because I thought that was pretty fun. All right, so let's do the first one. So we've got uh, 50 degrees, and it's measured from north in the positive direction. So I'm going to just draw it right here, and I'm just going to say this is number one. And so this angle right here is 50 degrees. Let's do another one. The next one is south, 27 degrees east. Okay, so that means this one is measured from south. Notice the first one we did, it didn't have an N there. You're going to assume there's an N there unless you see otherwise. Okay. Um, so this one's measured from south, so we start at south. And then we're going the east direction, 27 degrees. So we're just going to draw it like this. And so this angle right here is 27 degrees. See? South, 27 degrees east. So you could say this a couple different ways. You could say it's 27 degrees east of south. In fact, that's how I say it. Um, or you could say uh, 27 degrees southeast. I guess you could say it that way. All right, let's do the next one, 30 degrees. And switch colors here, 30 degrees. Okay, so we're going to start from north. Here's north. And so 30 degrees is right about here. So there's number three. So that angle right there would be 30 degrees. Let's do another one. And we've got one that's south, 75 degrees west. So we're going to start with south, so here's south, we're going to go 75 degrees west, so this angle right here is 75 degrees. And we have another one, don't we? We have another one, north, 10 degrees west. So we start at north, but we go left, because we're going to go in the west direction, 10 degrees. So that is the fifth one here. And so this little angle right here is 10 degrees. So that's how we measure bearings. Let's do an example. So we have a plane that's flying with a bearing. All right, a bearing. I'm first going to start by drawing a bearing. We'll get to the triangle eventually. There's my bearing. So the plane always starts from kind of the crosshairs, the center there. So the plane is flying with a bearing north 15, 15 degrees east. So we're just going to draw that in right here. Okay. So this angle right here, this is your 15 degrees. And then we see that the plane travels in this distance, or in this bearing, for 150 miles. And then the plane turns 90 degrees. Um, and I only made that up to make a good trig example. They don't really turn on a dime 90 degrees but they're going to turn towards the southeast, so they're going to turn this way, right? So that's 90 degrees, there we go, and continues on. So continues on, we're going to s just stop it right there, and when she's traveled 45 miles in this new direction, so here's 45 miles, so at this point right here, we want the new bearing, so we want we want, there's the triangle, we want this new bearing. We want
want this angle right here. We'll call it theta. We want that one right there. There's my picture of my bearing, and there's my picture of a triangle. Okay, So it may help, not so much in this case, this one isn't so bad, but sometimes it helps, you'll see when you do some of these problems, to when you're done with your bearing, take the triangle out so you can just concentrate on the triangle. So there's the right triangle. There's a 45 degree, uh, I'm sorry, a 45 length side and a 150 length side. I don't know any angles except the 90 degree. And let's see what we want to figure out. Well, eventually I want this angle right here that I've indicated in kind of a lavender color. And I know that I've got 15 degrees here. So if I knew this angle, we'll call this we call that theta, we'll call this one alpha. If I knew alpha, could I say alpha plus 15 degrees equals theta? Sure. So I want to find alpha, and alpha is in my triangle. So in relation to alpha, I know the side opposite, and I know the side adjacent, because this is the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is never an adjacent or opposite side, it's just a hypotenuse. So I can say the tangent of alpha is equal to opposite over adjacent. So that's going to be 45 over 150 using your inverse function. So we have arc tangent of 45 over 150 equals alpha. Remember to be in degree mode when you do that. So alpha turns out to be 16.7 degrees. So to figure out my new bearing, I have to add 15 degrees to that. So 16.7 degrees plus 15 degrees gives me 31.7 degrees. So my new bearing right there, my theta, is 31.7 degrees. And that's the end of this example.